Hey guys, my name is Tanzil and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to install VMware tools in my virtual machine which is running Mac OS 12, that is Monterey. And uh, also, we have to install the VMware tools in Mac OS because we do not get the high definition or full screen or wide screen display after the installation of the Mac OS is finished. So we have to install the VMware tools. For the Ubuntu operating system, we got the full screen display as soon as we were finished with the installation of the operating system. But in case of macOS, we have to install the VMware tools. So you can see this is my macOS 12, which is running on VMware Workstation 16 player. And uh, let's try to install the VMware tools directly from the virtual machine. Let's say if it is possible. So I'll just click on player in the menu bar and then after that just scroll to manage. Now under the sub menus click on install VMware tools and uh, you can see we are getting this error. Could not find component on update server. Contact VMware support or your system administrator. So that means we cannot install it directly from here. We'll have to find a workaround. So just click on OK and uh, the first step is to just shut down your virtual machine. So just turn it off. All right. Then after that, you will have to open one website. So quickly open your web browser and uh, then you will have to open this website that is customerconnect.vmware.com. I will keep the link in the description of the video so that you can directly open the link from there. And after opening up the link, you can select the version. I have selected the version as 12.0.5 and then just scroll down below and then you will find two options for VMware tools packages for macOS. The first one is a file type of zip. The second one has a file type of gz. So we will have to download the first one. So I'll just click on this download now. So just click on this download now button. All right. Then it's going to open up the login page. If you have not registered in their website, then you will have to register in their website before you can download the VMware tools. So you can just click on sign up now. But since I have an account on VMware customer connect, so I'll just sign in from here. Now once you have registered and uh, you open up the download page and then click on download now, then you will get this kind of prompt where you will have to tick I agree to the terms and conditions and then just click on accept. After that the download will begin. It's a very small file, only 2.72 MB. So then we will have to open this file in any zip application that you are having. I am having 7 zip but any other zip application will do. So just open it up and then click on extract and uh, just extract the file in the same folder and then you can close your zip application and uh, here is the file that we have extracted just now that is VM tools. So I'll just open it up. Now you can see we have three files here and among these three, this Darwin is the ISO file. And this is the ISO file that we need to mount in our virtual machine. So now that we have the VMware tools file, I'll just close everything. And then let's start our workstation. That is the VMware workstation 16 player, which is the manager. So I'll just open it up and then select your operating system in which you want to install the VMware tools. So I want to install it in Mac OS 12. So I'll just click on it. And then after that, just click on edit virtual machine settings. Now on the left side, look for CD DVD and click on it. Then on the right side, we have this radio button for use ISO image file. Next to it, we have a browse button. It shows one mounted image, which is the operating system, which I had mounted while installing the Mac OS. So it's not needed anymore. In your case, it might be empty also. So 
in either case you'll just have to click on browse and then quickly browse through the folders to the place where you have downloaded the vmware tools files and in that folder you will find darwin.iso so just select it all right then just click on ok and close it after that we can just start our virtual machine now once your virtual machine boots up, you will find a small icon on the desktop which says VMware tools. Now we have to run this package to install the VMware tools. So just right click on it and then just click on open. Now double click on install VMware tools. Then the installation of the VMware tools will begin. You can just click on continue then click on install it will ask for your user password so just enter it and click on install software so before the installation is finished you will get one error that says system extension block now the system extension is blocked because of the fact that we are installing the extension from outside of apple store so because of that we will have to grant necessary permissions to let the installation be complete so just click on open security preferences if you receive multiple dialog box then you can click on open security services then security and privacy window is going to open up now on this window just scroll to the bottom left of this window which says click the lock to make changes so just click on it and then it will ask for your password to authenticate all right now you can see there is one notification which says system software from developer vmware inclusive was blocked from loading so we will have to grant the permission from here so just click on allow and then it will ask to restart if you want to restart right away you can do that but i'll just click on not now and you can also observe that now the apps are allowed from app store and identified developers the identified developers so far are from the vmware tools so in the same way if you download software from any other source apart from app store then you will have to allow the app from this page that is security and privacy anyways then we can just close this page and then you will find the prompt or the message which says the installation was successful so you can just click on restart now all right now once the restart is over you can just close this vmware tools window and uh, you can also eject this iso file it's not needed anymore and to change the resolution of the virtual machine just click on resize button which is on the top right corner of the virtual machine window and then click on maximize and then you can see that we have the full screen or the high definition display and now if you want to see the resolution then just click on this apple icon and then click on system preferences and then finally you click on displays and here click on scaled and then you can see the exact resolution that is 1920 by 1007 now it's not 1920 by 1080 because we are using virtual machine and here we have the menu bar of the virtual machine as well as the title bar of the virtual machine so because of those two bars on the top the height is getting reduced in the display area of the virtual machine and also if you enter the full screen in the virtual box you will get the 1920 by 1080 display so that's all for this video i hope you liked the video and it helped you in trying to do what you were trying to do so i will see you in the next video till then thanks for watching